Confessions, a Japanese film that was out in 2010, directed by Tetsuya Nakashima, and it's based off a debut mystery novel by Kanai Minato. And she's pretty famous now because of the book and everything, and the more more films are based off her books now. So the general plot line of this film is pretty much the beginning, you get a sense of how there was a child being killed by these other, like, I guess they were 13, 14 year old, and she was killed, and the mother of this child is actually the teacher of those two killers. And she announces it that she will get her revenge, and things happen, and things happen. So this film is filmed in a way that it's pretty interesting because it gets a perspective of each character that has a role in this film. First you have the teacher who announces her plan, her, her crazy plan on getting the revenge on these two kids. So let's call these two kids the smart one and the not so smart one. So, and then you get a perspective from the smart guy and the not so smart guy and the substitute that comes after this teacher. And there are other perspectives and it's just like it builds off the fear that she instilled into these two kids in the beginning of the first like 15-20 minutes of the movie. The movie is like around an hour and a half-ish. And it's pretty crazy what she does to them. Because I mean she gives them the fear of that she gave them AIDS through blood transfers. Because they drank some milk. And the kids believed it. And not so smart kid totally went bonkers. And he sh becomes a shut-in. The smart kid actually realized something is off, so he's doing much better than not so smart kid. And then there are more interactions, as in the classroom itself was really disrespectful to the teacher until she did this whole act. And I would say the classroom itself is one crazy character where you see these extremes of just pure bullying and just disrespect. I have to say, this film really gathers a lot of like extremes from cases like from students who like could have existed in the real world and probably are existing in the real world but gathering them all into this story and making one crazy mystery as in who's actually gonna die or like what is gonna happen I really don't have to say much about the story because it's an awesome story and I would spoil it for you but the way it's filmed the characterization the change there's a lot of characterization in the sense where how are relationships like being changed by this initial crime like the crime isn't the sole purpose of this movie because I mean you get you know the killers in the beginning 15 minutes you know who killed the, the, the daughter of the teacher but the rest of the movie is more about how are they coping or what is the dynamic between the classroom between the students between the teachers between family members I think the family one was the biggest like like craziness I would say and I totally recommend this film because it's just like, wow, these kids are messed up and just to have a taste of some extreme of what some kids are going through. I mean, bullying is an active thing and it's just really sad that it happens and there's suicides and just, it's just like isolation and everything and yeah, this film, I would have to say, is recommended. Japanese film, 2010, so it's not that old so you won't feel like, oh, everything's so ancient, totally not. The other wonder what like psychological like thing happened to these kids as they filmed this because I mean that's a lot of psychological stress to portray these characters so I hope they're doing well and not like their counterparts in the film so Confessions 2010 film I liked it check it out come back leave a comment when you do have seen it anyway that's all Confessions movie review see ya